The new model work health and safety laws provide the basis for consistent rules and approaches to workplace health and safety across the country. The new rules focus on the work being undertaken. The worker and the business, that is, the persons conducting a business or undertaking or PCBU, both the worker and the PCBU have responsibilities and must work together to minimise any risks. And there's lots more. How do we meet these requirements for our trapeze artists, especially if they're performing in different locations? And how am I meant to be responsible for what these guys do? Anyone that undertakes any work is your responsibility. This means you must be clear in giving instructions, clear about what work is being undertaken, who is to do it and under what conditions. You're not expected to have the knowledge or expertise of the performer, but you should note anything that might be a risk to safety. Work through with your people. Work through what responsibility you each have. I've always been serious about consulting on safety. Isn't that enough? You're already talking about safety every day. That's great, but in the future, you should also keep a brief record of the talk. You should document what's been discussed, even if it's just a summary. This is just one of my businesses. What are my responsibilities? What are my obligations? You do need to develop a clear understanding of WHS in your workplace. You can't delegate these responsibilities, but your manager and operator have responsibilities too. You must be proactive and you must set up processes and systems to ensure the business and your people do what they should. How much are we responsible for the guys when they test drive a car on the road? Under the new laws, you are responsible anywhere that work is undertaken. So even down the road is your workplace. But what if I asked him to wear a seatbelt and he doesn't? The new legislation is clear on this, and the worker must take responsibility too. He or she must wear the seatbelt, or whatever protective equipment is provided for their safety. I already have an induction process for my new workers. I'm told I have to have something extra for young or inexperienced workers. Is that right? My site supervisors all look after four or five sites. Who is the PCBU when only contractors are on site at any one time? Uh, the circus is all about risk, that's the point. So how can I manage this? I've heard I have to involve my suppliers in the WHS process. Does that mean I have to supervise when they're unloading? There are so many questions about workplace health and safety in Australia and they are great questions to ask. But what's even more important is finding solutions to those questions. That's the task of all of us. I'm a cyclist in my spare time. I ride push bikes on roads, I know there are risks and I know there are road rules. And it's the same in the workplace. There are rules and there are common sense solutions. Go to the services of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the Chambers of Commerce of Australia and also the Industry Associations of Australia and you'll be able to find some of those solutions. The services on our website will direct you not just to understanding the rules but will give you some common sense solutions. So act now. Act safely, do the right thing by workplace health and safety in your business and become a leader. For more information on the new model work health and safety laws, visit acci.asn.au.